Hi everyone, welcome back to Let's Play The Sims 2 Watson Family Season 2. Jill is having some breakfast, she doesn't really feel great this morning, she really needs a lot of fun. But it's really problematic because she has her final exam in 11 hours and she hasn't done at all her term paper. And I don't think I've ever had a sim who's never done, who didn't do their term paper before they went to their final exams. But she does have a great performance here, so I hope this is going to help her get a good grade, but I'm not so sure. So before she goes and does her term paper, which... I'm pretty sure she, she's not going to be able to do since she feels awful this way. I'd like for her maybe to read something because it's something really silent. Uh, let's go and read... I don't know, what would she like actually? Let's go to her interests. She likes entertainment, crime. Maybe she would enjoy dancing more than she would reading actually. She kind of likes sci-fi. You know what? Let's go and turn on the music. It's going to be loud, but apparently that's the type of stuff that she likes and working out is not something that she finds fun. But eventually I'd like for her maybe to go out to a lounge where there's a pool or something to, you know, a pool table to maybe hang out with some other people. She seemed to really hang, you know, get along well with Addison Dallas over there. All right, let's go and dance. You're going to dance solo. But yeah, I'd like for her maybe to hang out with a couple more people to make some more friends. It's cool though that she's friends already with Ayana, but I feel like it was quite difficult. Are they dancing together? I think they are, kind of. Yes, her fun need is going down way more quickly than it would have, I think, if she had read a book. But maybe after the final exams she can just go and celebrate, maybe with Ayana, I don't know. Or maybe just by herself and see if she can meet someone new. To the lounge or something, I think there is one maybe in... Uh, the Academy Le Tour, but I'm pretty sure we can find one here in Sim State University. Alright, Heidi has class in an hour. I, is she going to... No, she's not going to her final exam. She still has seven hours until she has to go for her final exam. So she's going to go to class. Hopefully her fun need will not go down too quickly and this way she'll be able to make a... or work on her term paper. Also, I really wanted to thank you guys for how excited you were for the the beginning of this series in, this, in the Watson family. I knew that a lot of you were waiting for this season to... I was honestly really excited to share this gameplay with you all, but I'm so happy with the response it got. So thank you all so much for your support, it really means a lot. Alright, the phone is ringing. I don't know who's calling, but she has only 5 hours until until her final exam. So let's just go ahead and call it, write the term paper. She's She hasn't worked on it at all. Come on, Heidi, you need to work on this term paper. You're supposed to be a very studious person, but you... I mean, you know, when you're moving on from high school to university, it can be quite difficult. I know that for me, it was very, very difficult to move on from high school and higher education. It was very, very hard on my mental health. So maybe this is what Heidi is going through right now. Maybe she's just feeling very lonely. She doesn't have a group of friends that she used to have when she was in high school. And she feels lonely, you know, she feels lost. And she still hasn't figured out what kind of major she would like to go into. I could help her with that, but I also would like for her to figure it out for herself. She knows what she doesn't want to go into, but she doesn't know what she wants exactly. So it can be quite scary and quite stressful. So maybe that's what's happening to her. She needs to find some kind of stability in this new lifestyle that she's living. She's not a teen anymore, but she's not an adult yet, and it's a very, very tough time to go through. And there we go! <laughs> a little pat on the back. Heidi has defeated the tween demons of procrastination and distraction to finish a term paper, which will boost Heidi's grade for the semester, and Heidi has her final exam in one hour. Alright, so she, she's just going to go and use the bathrooms quickly before she goes to the final exam. Her fun need is really low. It's weird though to have a final exam at 8 p.m., but that's all right. <laughs> oh, I think she misses her pets. It's gonna be fine. You're gonna have your own pets as soon as you move out from university. But yeah, hopefully her exams will go well. I mean, her performance is through the roof, so she she most likely is going to have a good grade and hopefully some money as well. Wow, Heidi finished the semester with high enough grades to snag a spot on the covet coveted dean's list. Great work. Great. Heidi has finished the semester. She's finished the semester with an A plus grade. As a result, the school has given Heidi a grant of a thousand and two hundred simoleons. Thank you. We have now two thousand simoleons. She has so much money to continue her life in university. Something that I really would like for her to do is maybe at some point have you know this group of friends and then move out into one of the rental houses that we can have here in university, like one of those. 
I think it could be great for her. Although for now, she really needs some fun. She's not really that tired, so maybe she can go out. Let's have her go out. Let's call a taxi this time though. I'd like to find a lounge for her to go and hang out at and maybe find a group of friends like I've been talking about since the beginning of this part. Alright, in the meantime, just keep dancing. Let's try to work on your fun need. Also, I checked her lifetime reward points here, but she doesn't have any to spend to work on her, on her, on her needs. But I think I've been working on all of her needs here, so for now... Maybe if she works on the secondary aspiration, she can work on other needs-based aspiration benefits. But yeah, she doesn't have any right now. I don't really know what she needs to be able to get some more points. Maybe if she passes through her freshman year, maybe she's gonna get one point. But yeah, I'll have to keep an eye on this one. Alright, so we're going to stay in Sim State University. There's the campus lounge. Student Union. Maybe we can go to the student union though. Students from the four corners of campus flock to the student union to mingle, study and just hang out. You know what, we're gonna go there and if it's really boring we can go to the lounge. This one inspires me more than, than the lounge actually, so let's go there. She's having a good time dancing though. It's sad though that she cannot go back and visit the house to see her family. She can invite them over but she cannot just go to the house. Oh look, fireflies! Heidi has arrived at the student union and I think there's a bunch of students arriving as well. Hello, Christian Cox. Alright, let's go and greet him. He seemed to to dig Heidi for some reason. He seems cool though. And I think he's in the... how is it called? The... let's entertain. Secret Society of the Sims 2. I think the best way to join this universe, this secret society is to befriend three members of the secret society and then they just come and abduct you in the middle of the night. Well, he's, he thinks she's fun. Let's go and talk about fitness. Let's talk about travels. Maybe he's gonna like that. Yeah, it didn't go well. Well, there's not a whole lot of things to do here. Oh, there, there are some pool tables over there. Maybe we can play with Christian. Oh, it's hailing, I think. Yes, it's hail. They should go inside, otherwise... Yeah, otherwise she's going to be hurt by the hail, because I think Sims can die actually through through the hail. Hello, who are you? Ariana Parker. She looks cool, I like her hair. Maybe we could try to be friends with her. But I wanted for Heidi to play pool, so let's go and play pool. There's so many people already playing together here. Oh, she's actually going to be greeted by Dixon. Hey, Ariana! Actually, stop playing and greet Ariana. She was having a lot of fun though playing pool. Let's appreciate admire. Maybe we can talk with her. Let's talk about the hobby fitness. Oh, she seems to be shy. I think this animation seems that she means that she's shy. Let's tell her a joke. And can we play together? I think we need to invite her to play play pool with us. Yeah, they seem to, you know, it seems to be going pretty well between them. Can I invite her? Oh, join Heidi, there you go. This way she's gonna join Heidi to play pool. Yeah, I think she likes us. I'd like to try and develop some kind of friendship with... with Ariana. Wow, she's pretty good at that. Can they talk? No, I don't think they can talk while they're playing pool, but... Is their relationship improving as they're playing together? I think so. I see a plus above Jel uh, Heidi's head. Yes, I think their relationship is improving a little. Ariana is pretty good at playing pool. <laughs> wow. Oh, this guy is joining. Edwin. Oh, I think they're done. He joined and they decided to stop. That's mean. Let's go admire Ariana a bit more. Let's tell her a joke. Uh, maybe we can do the school cheer. She might enjoy that. Um, let's go and talk. Let's talk about travels. Oh, that's so cool. I'm so glad that she found someone that she's actually really getting along with. Like, Jill so far hasn't rejected her at all. At all. Have I called her Jill? No, Ariana. I don't know why I keep calling Sims Jill. Oh, the evil witch is here. <laughs> but yeah, I keep calling Sims Jill in this, in this series so far, but I think it's because of my Sims 2 university. But it was a couple years ago, so I don't know why this name is still stuck in my head. <laughs> Sorry for that. Yay! That's cool. Let's go and admire her again. Can you become friends? Can we bust a move? And maybe we can share interests. I hope that's gonna go well. Wow, Heidi. <laughs> well, at least you know Ariana seems to like that. Hey, stop! 
Oh no, she's leaving. I can't talk to her anymore. But at least you know we're friends. How is your fun need? Oh, you need a shower. You oh no, there's the charlatan. It's not a good idea, but you know what? Let's go and eat over there. There's food. Oh, she's looking outside. But then she'll need to go back to the dorm so that she could take a shower and go to sleep. So what I'm gonna do is just resume tomorrow morning as soon as she's feeling better and as soon as she's up. It's the next morning, Heidi is right now taking a shower. She already went to class because now her class happens or actually take place from 8am to 11am. And the only skill she needs to work on is mechanical, so I'm going to have her study mechanical just for a quick second. And I was actually thinking maybe having her invite out her mom if she can. I don't know if this is going to be possible or not. Um, we'll have to try, but for now I just would like for her to work on her mechanical skill. I really thought she already had one because her mom actually built up an entire car. You know, the rundown car that came with free time and her mom actually renovated it. Oh, she's feeling hot because of the shower, I guess, which is actually a good thing because we're in a dorm and she's having a hot shower. That's great because I actually once when I was in snow class with my class, actually she's already done with mechanical, it literally took a second. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I slept, you know, in a dorm with some of my classmates when I went in a snow class, I think, and the showers were always cold like no hot water it was just awful uh anyway let's go and see if we can invite your mom over let's call can we invite over let's call a sim oh she was she writing in her journal that's cool all right let's call mom uh let's her let's invite her over how nice of you to invite me i'll just go see up and come right over yay mom is coming all right let's go here uh can we skip here i want to see her skip Ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum. <laughs> She's so happy that her mom is coming. <laughs> ta -dum, ta -dum, ta -dum. <laughs> oh, that's lovely. And there it is! Lucy! Let's greet Lucy. Let's see how they greet each other. Oh, they hug each other. That's lovely. Can I ask her to be a, in a group? Let's form a group just for fun. Let's just be in a group, just a casual group. Let's appreciate, let's admire her, let's entertain, let's tell her a joke I guess. Maybe we can tell her an inside joke. But then I would like for the two of them maybe to go somewhere where they can take a picture together because Heidi is just missing one picture with her mom. Oh, I love it! I love seeing the two of them together, it's so cool. But yeah, a few of you guys actually let me know that Heidi had the jackpot when it comes to genetics in The Sims 2. And I have to agree, I mean, both her parents aren't that bad looking, but sometimes two good looking Sims might end up making an awful looking baby. And I didn't use the, you know, the face preset that a lot of people use and that I used to use a lot. Uh, let's go and call the taxi. When I was playing The Sims 2 back in the days, I tweaked a little bit their faces and I was, I didn't check how their kids would look like. So I was happily surprised when I saw that both Heidi and Josie were really, really good looking for babies in The Sims 2. But they definitely hit the jackpot for sure. Alright, so... I think to be able to have a photo booth, we need to go to downtown. And I'd like maybe to get another outfit for Heidi because as I talked about in the last part, I actually found an outfit similar to this one but with better colors that would suit Heidi a little bit better since her favorite color is green and there's some green on it. And I'd like for her maybe to wear this one rather than this one. I think it would suit her better. So, so far I think the best place to go to would be this clothing store that I just clicked on. An important thing in life is fitting in and we have something that fits for everyone. Here the only thing different is our decor, making unique people look like everyone else since 2005. Yeah, let's try to check this place, otherwise we can just go to the four corner shop, but I'd like to try something new for, for this, this ones. Or maybe we can just go and buy some new clothes. But then we can just go and play bowling with our mom. Because for sure there's going to be a photo booth in one of those two bowling lanes places. And this way they can take a picture together and play bowling together. Yes, I think that's what we're gonna do. So let's go to the cold, clo cold issue clothing and then we'll pick one of those two bowling bars over there. Heidi and Lucy just arrived at cold, cold issue clothing. I don't think there is a photo booth in here. There's this weird table at the back. It's really, it's a really sad looking room. 
Um, but anyway, I, as I said, I'd like for Heidi to buy another everyday outfit that I think would suit her a little bit better. If mom could move. Alright, so this is the outfit that I was referring to because it has some green on it and I like the purple tone over there. I think it sticks with the idea that she's still experimenting but she still has this favorite color that is green. So let's go and buy this outfit and have her wear it because I think it, look, it, it will look better on her than this orangey one. The orange of course looks great but I don't think it reflects who she is as well as the one that I just picked for her. So then you're gonna go ahead and plan your outfit. And there we go! I think it looks a little bit better on her. Now let me know what you think in the comments, but I think with the green on it we can see that it's Heidi, you know? it It's a little bit more like her. And Alicia actually came and talked to her, to Heidi, and she went to talk to this guy. Zaltrario? Is that his name? Can we talk? Let's go and chat. Oh, also I had a notification letting me know that Heidi and Ariana weren't friends anymore, so we'll have to spend some time with her. Ooh, Lucy doesn't like this guy. She might probably say to Heidi, please don't hang out with this guy. Well, it seems to be going pretty well with Alicia. Let's tell her a joke, I guess. I think she's an adult. But that's cool if she's actually starting to getting along with a little bit more sims than she did in the last part. It can be really difficult to meet some new people and to build strong and meaningful relationships with them. Which is why I'm glad that she actually she found Ariana. I think it could be nice for the two of them to maybe hang out a bit more together. Maybe she should call her tonight when she's back home. But hey, she's actually getting along pretty well with this girl, Alicia. Anyway, I think I'd like for her to call the taxi to go with her mom, who's right now just watching some random posters on the wall, analyzing them. Why not, Lucy? But yeah, go to the bowling alley and hopefully there's going to be a photo booth over there so that the two of them could take a picture together. But maybe Heidi, you know, she's been, I think, in university maybe for a couple months already. Uh, let's go to another lot. And, you know, maybe she's feeling a bit more comfortable with randomly chatting with people and having having small talks because before it was her parents who were having small small talks with their friends all she had to do was just follow and be Lucy and Jack's daughter and people would like her now she has to be the one that people like and maybe that's also something that she finds unsettling anyway let's go to the bowling alley now which one would have a a photo booth i think this one could Welcome to Sugar Cube Bullying, where the bullying is never for squares. At Sugar Cube, you can count on impressing that special someone with the coolest decor in the on the block. Yeah, let's try this one. Otherwise, we can just go to the other one, and that's fine. Oh, look at that! We could buy comic books. I should have had her buy comic books. And she's talking to this guy anyway, and it seems to be going pretty well. Maybe she's just feeling more confident now that her mom is here. Heidi and Lucy have arrived at the bowling alley, and as you can see, there is a photo booth over here. And cool music. But let's have Heidi get in. She wants to go and play pool. I think she really enjoys playing pool. That's great. But let's have her and her mom go together in the photo booth and take pictures together. I'll have them take crazy pictures together. Uh, ask Lucy to join. Alright, and let's go ahead and take some crazy pictures together. Take pictures, goofy pictures, because she's taken goofy pictures with her sister and with her dad, so it's only fitting for her to take crazy pictures with her mom. Oh, I wonder how it's going to look like. Oh, look at them! <laughs> I especially love this one. Yay! Oh, she's so happy about it. All right. Do we go and play bowling or do we go and play pool? I'd like for her and her mom to play pool together. Let's go and play on this bowling alley. And is... I guess Lucy is just going to join her. She seemed to be on her way though. Is she... Don't go anywhere. Ask Lucy to join. Oh, she seems happy. Maybe she wanted to, to play bowling with Heidi. Oh, and she's working on a skill. I wonder which one. The music is so loud though. Maybe I should change the settings. Nope, it doesn't change anything, so, well, never mind. The music is just gonna be loud and that's all. Who is that person? Be greeted. Everyone wants to meet Heidi. Oh, Lucy, come on. Play with us. Are you making fun of your daughter? Oh, but Lucy didn't play. That sucks. Ask Lucy to join. Oh, and Heidi has gained a body skill point from bullying. Cool, so this works. Oh, she did a strike. Yay! <laughs> Look at her dancing. Come on, it's t it's mom's turn. 
Are you making fun of people? I don't think Lucy is playing. They're just making fun of people dancing here. Well, actually, they're making fun of our Mendo Cox. Poor guy. <laughs> Look at that. Are you lounging on the sofa, Heidi? She feels at home here. Uh, can we talk maybe with mom? Let's appreciate. Maybe not give her a back rub. Oh, we can do the family kiss. I want to do the family kiss. That's a sweet thing to do together. <laughs> she's making fun of... Oh, that's sweet. But yeah, she's making fun of that poor guy dancing. Let's talk about travels. I think Heidi would love to go back camping eventually. Let's entertain. Let's tell an inside joke. Come on, Lucy, focus on your daughter. Oh, Heidi is getting hungry. Is there a restaurant over here? Oh, there's Mrs. Crumple Bottom over there, though. Maybe we could go to a restaurant? You know what? Let's do that. So let's go to a restaurant and eat, eat out with mom. So the restaurants I think I'm going to send Lucy and Heidi out is the Red's Famous 50s Diner. Welcome to the Red's Famous 50s Diner. We promised prompt and courteous service, fresh and delicious food, great music, and a whole lot of fun. Come in and enjoy the 1950s ambience with 2050s prices. So yeah, let's go there and <laughs> hopefully we'll get some food quickly because Heidi is gonna get tired soon and she needs to be in a good mood for university. But so far, she's been feeling pretty great. She's been having a lot of fun, which she's desperately needed. For the past couple days, so that's great. Heidi and Lucy have arrived at the diner. I really like this place because it's so cozy and in my mind it kind of looks like a 50s diner or at least you know the inspiration of a 50s diner I guess from the movies and stuff. But let's go ahead and be seated. Hello. It seems weird now to see people shake hands especially with the situation currently because you never see people touch each other anymore. So it seems weird every time when I'm watching an old series or an old movie or just here in The Sims, seeing Sims touch each other when they're not really familiar with one another. And you know what? Let's go for Chef's Choice. And yeah, they're not, they're just not really familiar with one another and their shaking hands seems kind of dirty to me now. <laughs> anyway, what does she want? Oh, she wants to reach body level 8. Look at how quick the food arrives. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. They have a different plate. That's nice. I hope Heidi is going, going to enjoy it. I wonder how expensive this is going to be. Well, that's cool. She's chatting with her mom and this random guy over there. Joe Graham. Oh, wow. That's such a dangerous thunder there. Oh, look at Lucy. She's playing pool with Sadie. Maybe we can come here and play with mom. Let's join Lucy. Oh, it's all shiny. This is the, the good witch. All right, let's play pool with mom before we have to head back to the dorm because Heidi is getting exhausted. But that's fun to discover that Heidi actually really likes playing pool. Maybe that's an item that she'd like to have in her future house. All right, apparently the pool game is over. Let's have Heidi hug her mom. Let's hug her f with a friendly hug, I guess. And can we end, you know, ask to leave the casual group? Lucy will have to go home, and Heidi has to go back to the dorm. Alright. Oh, that's sweet. Let's pay the dining bill and leave the restaurant. Heidi has just arrived back at the dorm. She's exhausted, so what I'm gonna do is just take care of her, and I'm also going to end this part here, you guys. So I think next time we're gonna go and check on the main household with Lucy, Jack, and Josie, and see how things are for these three. And also with the pets with Bailey and Diego and I'm honestly so excited to check back up on them. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I really hope that you're excited for the next part and once again I really want to thank you guys for the amazing support on this series already. It really means the world to me. Thank you all so much for watching this video and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye everyone!